Welcome back to episode two of Water Vlog, the vlog where we explore all aspects of water. Now it's a couple minutes before my 50th birthday. It's August 23rd at approximately 11.58 p.m. I drove home like a maniac from work because time is of the essence. I normally would run right to the laundry machine, throw myself in the laundry, but um, time is of the essence. So, when I turn 50, that's a huge deal. Not because of the normal half of a century mumbo jumbo, but because when I turn 50, that's when I'm going to dedicate myself to surfing. I've ridden waves lots of different ways, but when I turn 50, surfing is going to be the way. I'm going to click this when the alarm goes off at midnight. It is 11.59. Hopefully you can see that on there. On the 23rd, when the alarm goes off, I'm going to click this to record how long I've been a surfer. So the goal is to document my progression as a surfer from beginner day one through to two riding power surfer. Not the tall order, but that is the plan. Um, lots of, you know, lessons, hurdles, etc. to overcome to get to that. So um, that's what the documentation progression will be all about. So it should be clicking down. Boom. All right. Hopefully this is um, documenting right now how long I've been a surfer. I can't see it. But right now it's counting the seconds. This is a one-shot deal. I couldn't dry run this uh, prior to tonight. So I don't know. So hopefully it's going. And it's going to record how long I've been a surfer. I'll keep it going. Let me look real quick. All right. Yeah, it's like 25 seconds right now. I've been a surfer. All right. So I'm not surfing at the moment. But mindset-wise, I'm a surfer from this point going forward. That's it. End of story. I'm a surfer. Does one need to take surf trips? That would be the question for today. Do you need to take a surf trip to be a consider yourself a surfer? Not a risk I want to take. And since it's my 50th birthday, it's a perfect opportunity to take a solo surf trip. Now there is a hurricane down south, um, I don't know if it's um, affecting New Jersey, New York or not, but apparently there's some rip and surf down in North Carolina, but I'm a beginner surfer, so rip and surf is not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to check the forecast in the morning and uh, go from there and decide what direction to go for the surf trip. Uh, most likely will be the New Hampshire to Maine uh, coastline, and I'm excited. Uh, anything else I need to cover here? I think that's pretty much it. Welcome to 50. All right. All right good morning, everybody. It's about 6 a.m. and we are heading for waves. The wave forecast down south is epic. However, I am a beginner and epic waves are probably counterproductive for the learning curve. So we're heading to a place that is less epic, but perfect for someone at my level, and the location is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's hit the road, and let the adventure begin. As usual, I was relying too much on my GPS, and here we are in the Yale Forest. It's absolutely beautiful, and you know, maybe my GPS had uh, better ideas in store for me today instead of driving on the uh, freeway. Anyways, um, all right, we got to turn around and get back on track. But it's beautiful out here, and I'm loving the sound of this gravel road just after a rain. It's beautiful, and it's got the rain smell right now. It's awesome, very nice. <laughs> oh, 
All right, the waves are actually looking pretty good, especially for a beginner. Um, looks like it could be a little bit down the line, um, not like knee high, but that's what I'm looking for. So um, yeah, I'm gonna risk parking the one hour spot to because time is of the essence. So let's get out there. Hey, you good? Friendly. <laughs> Almost forgot my leash, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. Got some, yeah, this is more of a dog walking. Beachcomber kind of a beach, which I like. Um, yeah, and I guess the dead of August. It's a little couple of some families, but not bad. Nothing against families. Just when you're enjoying the water, less families the better. So we're out. I guess technically in the lineup, but it doesn't really line up this these type of spots. I guess beginner spots or maybe you know times have changed. Still we want to observe the rules of the road. But you just find your spot and go for it. I mean, this is how I always have my um, stand-up paddleboard in here. It lifts the fins up. It works out really well, but it's tough to get the foamy in. I had to take the fins off on the foamy something. If I flip it, it might not be the best thing for my board. But if I flip it, I may be able to get the foamy in without taking the fins off. Which is going to be key because if I want to pop back in the water. Alright. So it actually fits in really well like this, I never would have thought. 
to put it in like this, I got you know foam underneath this corner. It looks it looks like it looks like it might fit. Let's see what we got, alright? Oh my gosh. Holy shit, that's perfect. <laughs> Mega car for the win. Alright, so here we are at my favorite restaurant in Portland. And this is actually gonna be a huge test for me because I'm going to try to film myself and the surroundings while I'm in there. Normally, you know, I'm trying to break out and I branch out and I end up just, you know, filming my hand or filming the other person or whatever. So it's gonna be awkward, <laughs> but gotta be done. All right, favorite restaurant, here we go. How you doing? Um, also, do you have, um, let's see, do we have, uh, Jif Pita? Do you have, uh, have this? Yeah, we have that. Is that the, how do you pronounce that? Is that the Samoan? Yes, sir. Oh, it's a lot for me. Is it possible to get just one? Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great, yeah. Actually, could I just have one and one? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, did you buy these two? What? It's gonna be. Um, I just. Oh, I'm sorry. I, can I just have like one piece? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you wanted. Two. One piece of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. One piece of each. You a vlogger? Huh? You a vlogger? This is my first. I'm just trying. Yeah, a little bit. I'm just trying. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I'm trying to like be less, be less shy. I think it's like, like the best job. Yeah. All you do is just yeah. talk about your day. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Do you do it? Uh, no. I see others do it, but I just yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, it's it's funny you said something because yeah, I'm trying to be like less shy. Yeah, I'm very shy, so uh, you're good, you're good. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Where do you post that? Hmm? Where do you post no, that? I'm brand new. Oh, you like yeah, it's like my day two. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I haven't posted or anything like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. You want to pack your stuff? No, I'm good. Huh? Thank you. You want a receipt? Uh, no thanks. All right, take care. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. All right, so I didn't do real great on the filming, but at least... One step closer. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. All right, let's check out what we got. This stuff is awesome. my first time having this type of bread. I don't know how you pronounce the name of it. I'll have to figure out the actual name. But what's really nice about it is, it looks like it's gonna be really heavy and dense, but it's actually really light on the inside. A little bit of French baguette like, which is, French baguette is my favorite bread. So, delicious. And I just had somebody watching me, um, talking to the camera, so it's actually one step, another step closer. All right, so we're back here for sunset. It's getting close. Just about cresting the... There you go, you can see it for yourself. As soon as that peaks down behind, hopefully we'll get, get some good shots. This is a good test for the wind. Onshore wind, about 12 to 15 knots, I'm thinking. All right, used to windsurf back in the day, so. That may be fairly accurate. I don't know. Some people have parrots on their shoulders. Not me. Monarch Butterfly. He's been hanging on for dear life pretty much. Found him in the salt water. He don't think he's going to dry off well enough. But if he stays on, I'll get him to the reeds or whatever up near the 
road and see what we can do. Alrighty. Oh, burning daylight. Alright. So here we are. We're out. We're in the water. Wasn't planning on this. Luckily, I got my wallet up here and my keys zipped in here. So we can get out, maybe get some shots of the surfers, some waves. The waves are small, but this is beautiful here. You get fishermen out here in the evening, fishing for striper. I think that's what they're fishing for. And it's just gorgeous. When the tide goes out, it's really flat here, and you get a lot of purples and blues and greens on this section. No, over, I'm sorry. Over here, you'll get the purples, blues, green. And then over on this side, you'll get the yellow, orange, because that is west is down the beach instead of inland because of the angle of this beach here and actually Winslow Homer his studio Winslow Homer studio is down there oh we got surfers Winslow Homer studio was down there and I'm thinking he picked that spot because the light is fabulous it's the best light I've ever seen in my entire life and that's why I love it here. When the tide goes out, it's really flat. And right now you can see the reflection on the water, but this, the sky is not um, spectacular at the moment. It's awesome, but it's not like it gets. So when it gets spectacular, the flatness here and the reflection, it's, uh, it's, it's unbeatable. I've never seen anything like it. All right. Yeah, welcome to my favorite beach in the entire world. There's a lot of beaches out there. This one just has some magic um, that speaks to me more than anywhere else. I love it. Alrighty, let's enjoy. So we're gonna get the rock with the moon just above it, okay? So there's the rock, and they're gonna, I'm gonna line it up so that the moon is just above it, all right? Are you kidding me right now? Look at this wave! Oh my God, it's beautiful! I'm gonna get water. Oh. He's looking a little bit better. So we're heading back to the car anyway, so I think I'm more to like a yard or something away from the wind. All right, so we're gonna release Monarch Butterfly right here. All right, my favorite beach once again did not disappoint. <clears throat> I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like uh, when it's finally edited and up on YouTube. I mean, a little esoteric kind of bullshit sounding, but it really, it's almost like, I guess the way to describe it is that you're not really seeing like the color in the distance. You feel like the color is all around you. It's, 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 just, it's great. I don't know. Hopefully the footage will give a little bit of that sense of that you're bathed in the different color lights. I'm excited to see what it looks like in the morning. Forecast, I haven't looked at it, the latest forecast, but it was two and a half foot swell for tomorrow which was um, like double what it was today so hopefully there's something rideable if there's no swell tomorrow we've got the stand-up paddleboard so we can practice everything and we can also stand up and cruise around so yeah alrighty I'm excited and um, I'll see you in the morning alright have a good night <laughs> 